Well, good evening. My name is Pastor Tom Olson from Hope AFLC Church here in Enderlin, North Dakota. And if you're out and about in the community of Enderlin, you're going to have some bright lights and they're going to attract you or draw you right here to the Baxter Park uh, in uh, downtown Enderlin. And uh, feel free to come on over and enjoy the, the effort that the people have put up uh, here to get these different displays to uh, celebrate Christmas. As I thought about uh, the bright lights uh, uh, drawing us here, I thought about another bright light, a star that was drawing the Magi from the east into the land of uh, Jerusalem there and then over to the community of Bethlehem. The book of Numbers speaks of a, a star coming forth from Jacob. And so that's how they knew that this star was a star to be followed. And so they took off following this star and they got all the way to Jerusalem. And then they had to ask, uh, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? To Herod there. Herod really didn't appreciate the uh, thought of another king, especially a king of the Jews. And so he uh, acted uh, with some deception there and sending them a little further over to Bethlehem as recorded in the scriptures. But you, uh, Bethlehem, this uh, little town of Bethlehem, that's where they would find the king of the Jews. And so that's where they went. And we read this here in uh, Matthew chapter 2. Then Herod secretly called the Magi and determined from them the exact time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. And when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. After hearing the king, they went their way, and the star, which they had seen in the east, went on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And after coming into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell to the ground and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they presented to him the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This star that God provided for these magi led them right to Jesus, the King of kings, the King of the Jews, our Savior. And they rejoiced exceedingly. They were so glad uh, to see the king and to come and worship him with their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so I would encourage you, if uh, this Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve service, Christmas Day service, uh, I'd encourage you to find a local congregation to uh, go and, and hear the good news, the Christmas story of the king of the Jews being born. And uh, as the angels told the shepherds, uh, for unto you a, a Savior has been born today in the city of David, who is Christ the Lord. So I'd encourage you to do that, to put that on your calendar. Mark that as a special event to make sure you go and hear the good news that a Savior has been born for you. And God knew we needed a Savior, and that's why he sent Jesus to be our Savior and to be our King, the King of the Jews. And so I just encourage you to do that this Christmas season. While you're at it, swing by and look, look at the, uh, all the displays here at the park and think of that star, that star that led them, those wise men, right to Bethlehem, right to the place where the child was. Have a great Christmas and, and a Happy New Year as well.